Hey everybody, it's Matt again with another video and today we're going to be making a whole bunch of these top lights. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we got everything we need. We have 10 bases, 10 shells, we got plenty of screws, plenty of LED strips, plenty of mounting rails, plenty of, uh, plenty of silicone. Uh, just need to get them all put together and then out the door for our customer. And the first thing we need to do is take our bases and we need to drill our hole for the wire for the LEDs. Uh, these ones aren't going out with any kind of magnets, so nothing special being needing done. Uh, just a nice hole right in the center right about there and we'll do those right now. So, like I said before, I do have a jig for this kind of stuff, but I, yeah, I find it a little too little too cumbersome so I just freehand it and I've been doing this for quite some time since I was like 12 so I think I think I've got the handle of it but yeah nice hole right in the middle about yay I uh, would do three at a time just makes things go a little faster so here we go So now that we got our stack done, we'll take one, put our strip on, and keep on doing those to all the rest. So we take our LED strip, along with some rails, get that mounted on in the middle, and then we can go to the next step. And like before, I like doing these by hand, I just, I just think it's a little quicker for me anyway. And there, we got the one done. And now, nine more to go. All right, so now that those are all done, now we need to put some silicone on the electrical components and fill the hole here where the wires are poking out. And then we'll do it to this one, and then we'll do it to nine more. So let's go. All right, so now that these are all covered and filled with silicone, we're going to put these to the side. And what we'll do is start working on each shell one at a time and fitting a base inside. So let's get that started. So what we got here is our white ash. Um, still has the recessed lip where we're gonna set all of the bases into. Helps with the water, uh, water tightness and water resistance. And yeah, we'll get the inside of the shell all cleaned up, prep the surface for some silicone, uh, mate the base into the top here, drill it together, and then do that nine more times. So let's get started. And like before, I use a little brake cleaner, just a little squirt on the towel here. Uh, you don't need too much. You really, I'm really just prepping the surface, degreasing the surface, making sure all the dirt's out of there, just so when they're, when, they're all, when they're all put together, none of that stuff is inside and maybe gets loose and damages something. So just doing, doing the best you can to keep everything clean. But yeah, like I said, just a couple of short sprays. You don't need this sopping wet, just a little moist and damp. Barely even needs that. And yeah, just make sure to get in all the edges around around the lip there where things are gonna seal up. Make sure you get all in the inside. Make sure there's no little bits of dust in there. Uh, it's not usually as big of a concern on uh, white one, uh, sorry, yellow ones. Uh, but white, you'll uh, tend to see everything with them. And I know they kind of look nicer on the street, uh, kind of depending on what your fleet's colors are. But personally, I, I prefer the yellow um, just because, I don't know, that's just, just my choice. Um, you know, standard yellow cab is going to have a yellow roof light right so uh yeah no, just my my preference i like i like the yellow top lights instead of the white ones but uh yeah now this is cleaned up we will get a base on but first we need to put our little bead 
of silicone in here. And like I said uh, in one of the other videos, we put it as close to the rim here as we can uh, behind the screws so that when we press the uh, base into here, it does kind of flow in and out, and but not too much that it goes up the edge here and squirts out. So try to keep it as you know clean as we can, right? And nice solid fat bead across, like I said, that point where the uh, you know, form of the top light begins and the edge before the screws. Nice healthy bead. Uh, you know, the more you can get this in one uniform shape, the better. And yeah, I don't know how well that's showing on camera, but uh, like so. And then next, take your base. I tend to hold it by the wire a little bit just to drop it in. Give it a nice push down to seat it. Don't know if you heard that, but a little bit of air popping out. Nice little wipe. Little painter's tape here. Just to hold down the wire. And yeah, this shell is now ready to be screwed together. So we'll do that. And yeah, just like so. Get that a nice little clean off. Probably should wait until after I drill it, but still. This is ready for uh, getting the corners drilled out. And then this is ready to go. So we'll make the other nine now. And that's 10. So now these are all built, we need to get the corners drilled out, and then these are all done. And that there is 10 top lights. Uh, yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the, in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, have a good one.